to God, our most highest, our pastor MC Potter, ministers, family, and friends. To my grandmother and my mother who we pay tribute tonight, we would just like to give you your flowers for while you can smell them. I just want you to know tonight that we're not here for any shape, form, or fashion. We're here to render service to God who is worthy to be praised. And this evening, I would like for you to participate if you feel like shouting, shout. If God has been good to you, let him know how much you love him because our children are going to let you know just how much I love you. And then after they tell you how much they love the Lord, I want to let you know that he cares. And I know that he cares.
say, Jesus, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. I've had my share God has been good to me And my doubts have been few I guess You can say God has truly blessed me Oh, yes he has For there's never been a time
Sometimes uh, mama can't do it. Sometimes daddy can't do it. Sometimes my wife can't even do it. And that, that type of touch is, that's fine. That's all right. That's all right. But that's sometimes is what is considered an ordinary touch. But sometimes the ordinary just won't do. We need a touch from you, Lord. Sometimes serenity Sometimes there's misery Oh, sweet and sweet to touch Speak some words Speak some words of love that mean so much The ordinary It just won't do I need someone, my Lord I need someone That someone is you I know that That someone is you Somebody give their chance Now there's a quest in order to find What lies in the heart Soul and the mind, sometimes serenity, sometimes there's misery. Oh, so many weaknesses and faults I've got to learn to share the innermost and secret thoughts. The ordinary just won't do. Yeah. 
our special guest this evening. We have coming uh, the B3s, Omari, Billy, and Joseph. They're going to tell you to trust in God. And then their father is going to tell you to praise his name. And we have another special guest. Our cousin Cora is going to come to you in her own way. I give to you the Bruner family.
Amen. Can we give him praise? Give him all the glory and the praise. Put your hands up. 
hands of God for a minute. Turn to worthy. Lord, you worthy. Lord, you worthy. Lord, you worthy. Lord, you save my soul. If they need your life, Lord, you save my soul. Yes, indeed. Oh, my, my, my. Lord, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. say so. Uh, give an honor to God. I'm very happy to be here and I just wanted to say that my mother and I, we are from California, the wife also. My wife, uh, Lorraine Armstrong here, we're from Los Angeles, California. And we're very happy in order to be uh, celebrating my cousin, uh, Ms. Bell, Ms. Tisha Bell Bush, and also Aretha Hatcher. We're very honored and pleasure in order to, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure in order to be here. And my mother today, tonight, is going to sing the song, All My Appointed Time, The Time Will Come. Amen. Yes. Amen. And if I, may say so, if I may say so also, my mother, she's 84 years of age. And I just wanted to let you know that I say that. Yeah, I'm going to sound. <laughs> Joe, he 
was a man, he had a lot. But you know, the Lord taking everything away from Job to try him out. But hallelujah, the joke that he made. Thank you, Jesus. So that's the way it is with me. I'm trying to make it. It's a pretty hard go. But I'm trying to make it. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, man. Well, all of my point in time, I'm gonna wait for the change to come. Well, all of my point in time, I'm gonna wait for the change to
God and you believe in His Holy Spirit, it's nothing sweeter than having His Holy Spirit. And after that, we're going to have Stan and Evelyn tell the Lord that I owe you me. And then we're going to have Kevin come and he's going to sing New Jerusalem. And Beverly is going to get us ready. Come on. And she's just got a question for everybody. Will you be ready?
that the streets, they are paved with gold.
He brings us through. Yeah. And, and I, I'm dependent on Him to bring us through. We know that one day we will see Him coming in the clouds. And, and you know, sometimes it hurts. Because sometimes I wonder, are we ready? Are we really, really, really ready to meet Jesus? And all that He has gone through and He's prepared a place for us. And I don't know about you, these rings, they don't mean anything to me. When I think about the streets of gold, when I think about a mansion that's already made, and I don't have to pay rent when I get there.
the world is doing, you better be ready. It don't matter what your mother is doing, you better be ready.